From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest is from a company that's unveiling some really cool new headphones, and they're from a brand we trust here at Into Tomorrow. Those of you who are listening on the radio, come by the site at your leisure and check out the videos, videos of all of the interviews here from CES, three weeks' worth. So come by intotomorrow.com, and you'll see what we're talking about, like the Sennheiser headphones that I'm wearing, because he is the senior product specialist with Sennheiser USA, Eric Pellinen. Eric, welcome into tomorrow. Thank you very, very much. Pleasure to be here. Love the event. Love the win. Love talking to you oh, every very, year. Love, love using the Sennheiser headphones that you're yeah. on, no doubt. Absolutely. This is like <laughs> being back home. Isn't it, though? It's like being back in little old Germany. <laughs> <laughs> a little old Germany. Tell us about the new headphones that you guys are launching here this week. Absolutely. So it's been an exciting day, not even just a month, but an exciting day for us. Uh, we have two brand new for the show headphones and, of course, a CES Innovations Award winner. The trophy case is filling up. We like Congrats. that. Yeah. Thank you very much. So um, you know, let's get started, I guess, and talk. Uh, let's start at the top. The HD 700. This is our brand new audiophile headphone. This is uh, a, a pretty radical design, yeah, uh, but everything it on it is actually quite functional. Rather than just looking cool for the sake of looking cool, every <laughs> element here actually has a purpose. So uh, the headband you're holding here is actually a vibration dampening headphone. Ooh. And it, ooh, very cool. And, and what that does is actually reduces the resonances uh, that may be created from the transducer. So what you're hearing is the headphones. Are we allowed to say that on the radio? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> the, the R word. Yeah. So it, yeah, exactly. What it does is it reduces those uh, ambient, uh, ambient distractions, and what you hear is the transducer themselves and not any byproduct of the transducer. Yeah, and the pads seem very comfortable. I mean, if I weren't wearing other Sennheisers right now, I'd <laughs> be putting these on and, be and testing those. them out. So apparently, no doubt, another important element of these particular headphones. Of course. And then there's the patent pending design here. This is a vented magnet system. Now, in a oh. speaker, in layman's terms, uh, the magnet pushes and pulls the diaphragm, mm -hmm. moves some air. Uh, that air can create turbulence. And turbulence may disrupt the transducer from acting in its purest form. Turbulence, so, not a good thing. Has anyone ever, <laughs> ever used turbulence in a good... No one's ever like, I love turbulence for Christmas. But uh, it, yeah, so what that does is it channels the air outward and again allows that transducer to act uh, very natural and in a pure state. And this is the HD700. What is it going to cost and availability? $9.99 available in March. Okay, and by $9.99 we don't mean just under $10. We mean just under 1000 That's correct. Correct. Because of all the cool stuff in here. Oh, lots of, lots the, of cool all the stuff. the transducer stuff and high-tech talk. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, assembled in Ireland. And uh, as we like to say, some headphones look good around your neck. These sound great on your ears. Yes. Ah, there you go. But well, that's a good line. I because, like yeah, I know exactly, I'm going to trademark that. I know exactly the ones you're talking about <laughs> where people are just having them around their neck all the time. Well, put them on your head or yeah. put them away. Our, they are sound best on your ears. Yes. No question about uh, that. Very good. Now, that brings us to the HD uh, uh, 25, maybe? That's is correct. That, this is that is, this one? The yeah, the, this is... Is that the Imperior. Imperior, yeah. excuse me very much. So check that out. It's actually a closely related cousin to the headsets we're wearing right now. Ah. Uh, but this has been optimized for portable devices. Oh, uh, I like the blue metallic look here, too. Not too bad. That's actually yeah. a, a real aluminum finish, too. You can feel it's kind of icy cool. Yeah, I like uh, that. Some microfiber pads. But it's based on the number one DJ headphone in the world, uh, the HD25. Um, it's also a very popular color commentator's headset, mm -hmm. uh, similar to the one we're wearing. But again, optimized for use with portable devices. So it's going to sound great, plenty of volume, no matter what you connect it to. Now tell me you're going to make these with this cool blue aluminum with uh, microphones attached. So that, we could use That's them. an idea. That's yeah. an idea. Well, you bring you run that up the flagpole. I, I, first and, thing and I'll see do. See what Germany <laughs> thinks about that. Now, how much are these HD 25s and availability? 349. Again, available in March. Ah, very much nice. Now, of course, the RS 220. RS220. Now, are these uh, among the award winners here? This is an award winner right here, CES Innovations. And this is a wireless audiophile headphone. The cool thing about this, it gets audio from point A to B using a technology called DSSS. In short, what it does, gets it, audio it, from... That, that would be the ever-popular dis... <laughs> For those who have a stuttering <laughs> issue, he has the dis What is DSSS? Direct Sequence spread spectrum. Sure and it is. Right? What the, everyone knows that. Yeah, Come on. Common. <laughs> uh, but what it does is get uh, audio from A to B uncompressed. 
Oh, so it's nice. essentially akin to having a wired headphone, but yeah. without the wires. Ooh. So very fancy, and the the, the, the input-output array on the back is pretty impressive. Ma yeah, man, look at this stuff. Not only do you have power, but you've got uh, analog inputs and, and in and out and coax, so you've got some digital input. <laughs> Including and, and the kitchen sink. Yes, holy cow, optical, a pairing button. you got everything on Okay, this has got to be expensive. Not too bad. Actually, it's based on the HD650, which is... Uh, which is approximately four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars in the street. This is actually six hundred. So really, it's very nice. Value. Thank you very yeah, much. Especially for uh, all the quality that's built into this and the nice Sennheiser logo on the side. You, you got to be loving that. that. Love it. Sennheiser.com for more. Of course, common spelling: S E N N H E I S E R U S A. dot com. That'll <laughs> get you to these products that Eric and his team are working on on a regular basis. Very nice award-winning goodies. Award-winning. Thanks, Eric. Always a pleasure to have you with us because there's so much cool stuff coming out of the Sennheiser Labs all the time. We love talking about them. I agree, and we appreciate using our gear. Thanks oh, for having us again. Well, it tells you why we use them because we love them. They do the job, and and yes, we bought them. <laughs> so <laughs> and we love them for that reason because they actually work. Go figure. SennheiserUSA.com for more. We'll link you there, too, when you visit us at intotomorrow.com as I nearly ripped the headphones right <laughs> off my head. It's been a long day. What can I say? We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues from Las Vegas at the Showstoppers Press event. Go away.